Understanding Wehrmacht, a dive into historical terms. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore a term that's often mentioned in historical contexts, Wehrmacht. Whether you're an English language learner, a history enthusiast, or just curious about new terms, this video will give you a clear understanding of what Wehrmacht means and its significance in history. So, let's get started. Wehrmacht is a German word that translates to defense force in English. It specifically refers to the unified armed forces of Nazi Germany from 1935 to 1945. This term encompasses the Army, here, the Navy, Kriegsmarine, and the Air Force, Luftwaffe. It's crucial to understand that Wehrmacht is not a generic term for any German military force but specifically relates to the military structure during this particular historical period. To understand Wehrmacht, it's essential to dive into its historical context. The Wehrmacht was established after the disbandment of the Reichswehr, in accordance with Hitler's rearmament plans. It played a central role in World War II, being involved in numerous military operations and campaigns across Europe. The actions and policies of the Wehrmacht during the war have been subjects of extensive historical research and debate, particularly concerning their involvement in war crimes and the Holocaust. After the defeat of Nazi Germany in 1945, the Wehrmacht was dissolved. Its dissolution marked the end of one of the most powerful and controversial military forces in modern history. The post-war period saw re-evaluation of the Wehrmacht's role, leading to complex discussions about responsibility, obedience, and the moral choices of soldiers during wartime. Today, the term Wehrmacht is used primarily in historical and academic contexts. It's important for learners of the English language to understand this term within its historical framework to grasp discussions surrounding World War II and German history. However, it's equally vital to recognize that the term should be used with awareness of its historical connotations and implications. Thank you for watching our video on Wehrmacht. We hope this has helped clarify what the term means and why it's significant in historical studies. Remember, learning about terms like Wehrmacht isn't just about adding a word to your vocabulary. It's about understanding the complex tapestry of history and the nuances of language. Until our next video, keep learning and exploring.